function? Yes, yeah, I, I, uh, I posted it on Facebook that I, uh, uh, in all my life there are a few things I really admire is cultural things because it makes you look things different even if you agree or don't agree or they're strange but it always uh, brightens your horizon. Not, 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 not really in sports, you mean you have other things but I give another example in, in Africa, in Ghana where I worked. Um, every Monday morning when the week starts yeah, it's just something you don't see anywhere else. It's uh, interesting. Like, like the spiritual one? Yes, yes. Like yeah. And in Oman, in Oman where I worked, uh, they are... Um, Oman has a... How do you call it? It's not a colony, but they have a cooperation somehow with, with Tanzania. So you have Omanis who are half African, half Omani. And when I was interested, it's always we playing Oman in the World Cup. First yes, I know. I saw that. Yes, last time they are strong. There players. was a big debate on why Kabra is not in the team by Novi Kapadia. He will. I think he two will. days back. Is it difficult to motivate yourself for the match, or just the three point is the is the thing actually which is motivating you? Um, for myself, no, because I I say always say. I, uh, things you don't control, where you don't have control over, uh, don't worry about them and don't nag about them. Uh, it's a matter of accepting them and dealing with it. I think that's why it's called professional sports. Uh, of course, these things can influence, but again, I don't control them. So uh, I wish after the three games we, uh, we won, it would have been good if the supporters, of course, could come to the, to the stands. But uh, again, Either to elaborate on it, uh, it has no use because I don't control it. So uh, the only thing I focus on is to keep the, the players uh, in a good spirit and uh, hopefully we can get three points. Good. Uh, just two points question. So how do you motivate for tomorrow's match? I don't think that, that there is much to motivate. I think in, in the phase that we went through uh, with all the criticisms, etc. Uh, I always believe in myself and still a lot of things I think they should be different and I and uh, can be even better but at this moment the confidence is high uh, I even see in the, in the last trainings or in the last game things uh, that the way I like to see it uh, I think that the players are happy uh, they feel confident and, and I don't think I really have to motivate them on, on that level the only thing is that you don't get overconfident that that's something else and that's something that I will discuss today in the training uh, of course, last AFC World Cup match, uh, your uh, second team in the um, uh, big party. So, is it a challenge to make the first eleven? No, it, it makes it, it makes it easier because. Uh, you have comparison, you, 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 you can confront the player uh, who may be fighting for the same position and show him, look, this player did better than you. Uh, this is one of the most difficult things I faced in, in, the, in the time that I'm here. I had sometimes make decisions not based on really good assessments, but more on, uh, on the short moments that I could work with the player and uh, based on feeling. And that is always difficult because if somebody comes and judge me, uh, while he doesn't know me fully, that is always difficult to accept because you will have more references. And the more references I have, the easier it is to make decisions. Coach, uh, another thing is that, uh, that when, you, when you are playing Mumbai FC, the team which actually yesterday come to know that their Dani Pereira has been suspended for taking that is the... Uh, yeah, failed drug test. actually. Yeah. 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 Failed drug test. So, yeah. don't think that these kind of things actually as the psychologically you are being in an advantage position when they are in a shock position. Yeah, look, it's something that is their problem. Uh, again, this is an, a thing that I, I, uh, I don't control. The only thing is, I don't know a team without a coach, a team without. Uh, I think he's the captain, right? The one who went out. Captain. Yeah, he's the captain. Yeah. So that means two, two uh, leading person who will not be with the Last team. I'm sure that's uh, that something has influence, but yeah, it doesn't have influence on my team. The only thing, hopefully, we can uh, can uh, take advantage of it. But uh, again, I I focus more on uh, on our own team. Coach, regardless of the position, Mumbai FC has always given me been or tough times. And they have beaten been or last year also. So um, I don't uh, Mumbai team uh, also in my previous uh, work was always a difficult team. 
uh, always very defensive, very tough, time wasting, all kinds of things. Uh, but again, yeah, it's not something I control. Uh, I hope that that the spirit that we have, uh, that we can outplay the the, the team because uh, there's one thing that uh, demotivates team is that when you when you control a game, the same what we had against Pune, when we scored the 3-1, uh, at one point we really could humiliate them uh, till the moment we gave an easy goal away. But that moment before, you could see that, that Pune really was dropping and, and that's what I'm hoping also for when you play against a team like Mumbai, that you show that you're dominant and that always demotiv demotivates a team, especially when you get a goal and uh, they have to run more. But as long as you give them chance to stay in the game, then it's, it's very difficult against teams like that. But from the previous match, is that player in football really impressed you? And he will be in your first level of match. In the AFC match, you have seen the yes. like bench strength. So is there any chance of playing from there, like from the player you have seen? Or is there a player in mm. the coming in the first level tomorrow's match? No, the, the, the most likely the same 11 will start. The goalkeeper position I'm still uh, have to decide about. Uh, but the same other team will start because they did very well. Uh, but the bench might be a little change. Although at the same time, I have to have an under 23 player on the bench. So that makes always maybe I have to disappoint somebody who, who did well. Uh, but again, yeah, that, that, that's part of the job. But overall, uh, I think having, having last match, uh, having the chance to see players, and, and I think that is very underestimated for a coach, is very valuable because you can really assess somebody and just in training sometimes you don't have that time. It's just that simple, especially when the games are that close uh, on each other. Even you played in a match in uh, empty stadium and uh, how you guys are looking uh, uh, this thing? Yeah, it's a, it's a different thing like uh, for the player uh, when the spectator comes, it makes you like in the home match, it makes you more motivated but anyhow, like coach has said, there are few things we can't, um, it, it's not in our hands. So I think according uh, according to me, like as a captain, so I have to be, uh, we have to talk among, uh, among our players that anyhow, so um, all the other matches are very important for us and uh, most the most thing most important thing for us is to win the match and uh, to get the three points. Like we three last three matches we did well and now it's time to maintain that reputation and try to do good. Instead of thinking about the other stuff. You have seen Mumbai FC earlier also. Now, when you have seen them, I, I, you were not in the same group, I think. Yes, you were in the same group in Federation Cup. So, after, after seeing them now, what do you find difference in the team there? Actually? I think right now we are. Uh, very much like very much confidential with the ball and we have some tools that we can use in the game like we are making other team very much frustrated to come up and uh, play against us uh, because all the time whenever the teams play is played against East Bengal they started playing very much defensively now we can keep the ball and we are confident and like in Federation we were very much like in the struggling position and so many injuries were there and uh, we were not up to the mark and we didn't do, do what we, the people were expecting from us but now I, I hope that the, where we have finished our last game, we are going to start from there instead of getting overconfidence. And uh, that's we, we are going to talk on the field today that it has to be start from the zero again. Uh, uh, now your team is in the but still, what do you think? Which areas you need to improve? See, it's not a uh, it's not a time we are uh, get, we are getting the things right uh, match by match and uh, the players they are getting confident instead of giving the blames to the to us especially uh, the goalkeeper's position because two goalkeepers are almost injured so i think whoever will come and have to play as a so because it depends it that that is very crucial position in the in the team and uh, it must be a very much confident that the team gets the same confident confidence what what we have got from the last matches and uh, they, the goalkeeper position is the just where uh, we can, but other position I can, I'm very much confident that the players are going to do the same way. Okay, one last question to coach. Yeah, just want to know uh, what should the assessment and Josie one? Because obviously he plays uh, physical football and gives pressure on the open defense. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough, tough uh, striker, as in uh, difficult to, to. He's somebody, I like his mentality, that uh, he waits just for that moment and keeps going for 90 minutes. I compare it even a little bit with, with Dudu also. It's always 90 minutes full 
and uh, yeah, a striker like that who is big, who is physical, who can even uh, with uh, with high balls uh, uh, can use his game, is always difficult to defend. On the other hand, as long as we have the ball, uh, he cannot be dangerous. So that's why uh, I always try to uh, to hammer to dominate the game and control the game uh, by having the ball. And that's one thing I I faced that before. But uh, always a lot of criticism. People talk uh, about uh, a lot of wide passes and back passes, but that's a process, and uh, it's all about decision making. And if you see me beside the line sometimes when they play a back pass, I'm as angry as other people. But again, it's about making the right decision. It's not that I want to play just on possession-based football. I want to play uh, dominate the team and go on the right moment forward. Because I always surprised that if you start playing long balls. Um, and you lose the ball and people uh, uh, are somehow still happy. I mean, playing long balls and losing the ball is always still worse than, uh, than keeping the ball, in my uh, opinion, because that's what football is about. Well, and uh, uh, coming back to, to, like I said, uh, with Jojimar, as long as Mumbai doesn't have the ball, uh, he can also not be dangerous. No, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, Abhishek will start. Also, I read somewhere, or uh, I think on the TV it was, that uh, I, I changed Abhishek, I think, after 20 minutes. That was purely out of tactical reason, because I think Abhishek is a fantastic talent, uh, but still makes mistakes uh, that are lacking because he didn't train much with the team. Because most of the time, Deepak was there. And uh, that means the automatism that you train, uh, the, 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 yeah, Abhishek will miss them. He was with the national team, etc. Uh, but I have full confidence in Abhishek. But last game, uh, I changed him purely out of tactical things, not because uh, I want to take an under-23 out and then quickly put an other inside. Because I heard that on the TV. That's absolutely not, not true, because I think Abhishek has a really bright future. If he, and he's really w willing to learn. Uh, he is good in the ball, has the right energy. Um, He's doing good things, but still he's young and need to learn things. <laughs> Goalkeeper, I'm not sure about. I still have to decide it today. And this is one of the things that, that people will say, how can you not decide about the goalkeeper? Simply because the time that I have, I focus on, uh, on, uh, on the team that is playing. And then you don't have time to do a separate goalkeeper coaching session or whatever to, to really assess them. That's why I used last game uh, uh, Luis. Uh, Abra in, 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 uh, in Pune, I tried to make an extra training in some shooting to get at least an idea. But again, this is not based on, 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 on long time. It's just for a short moment and it is always very difficult. So I still didn't decide. Still, I also have to assess uh, Abhijit today, uh, see how his condition is. And from there, we, we take the decision. Mm -hmm.